Hi, I'm Kim Copeland of Kim Copeland Productions, and this is my studio, Ragtop Recording. I work with songwriters and artists to record projects that not only sound great, but that also help propel them forward towards their goals in the music industry. I don't just record music. I work really hard with each song and artist to develop a unique sound for them and create a, an audio image, a brand for them. I've been working with songwriters and artists for over 20 years, and I love what I do. I want every encounter with Kim Copeland Productions to take you further than you ever expected it to. I want to send you out the door with great sounding projects, but also ones that give you new ideas and tools to use on your next creative steps. I do artist development, songwriter coaching and mentoring, and production for artists and songwriters. I'm one of the very few female producers on Music Row, and probably one of even a smaller number who has a background in both vocals and instrumentation. I'm a trained vocal coach, a performer, a songwriter, and a musician, and I use all of these skills in the studio. They help me communicate my ideas to the musicians, and they help me interpret your ideas, too, and make sure that we get exactly your vision for your songs. From selecting and tweaking the songs, to casting just the right musicians and instrumentation, to mentoring you through the whole recording process, I love the one-on-one -on -one interaction with creative people like you. Let me show you around a bit now and tell you how my studio is designed with you in mind. We'll start with our scratch vocal booth. This is where we'll set you up to be singing your scratch vocal during the tracking session. Uh, whether you're the songwriter or the artist, this is what we we'll use this room for. And it leads us into the main tracking room. Here you can see we have our house drum kit set up, which is pre-miked. Uh, saves us on cartage saves you on cartage <laughs> and also saves a lot of time the studio hours because we don't have to reset and re-mic every time. The bass player also sits in this main room. Uh, basically the drums are live mic'd so anybody else that's in this room has to be going directly to the board. We also have our keyboards in here, our keyboard corner, which you can see Maddie the Border Collie is busy working on the B3 right now. We have our vintage uh, B3 organ. We also have uh, the Yamaha keyboard, which we use for Rhodes and Wurlitzer sounds, and also great string sounds. It has wonderful sampled sounds in it. And you can see Maddie and Scout wandering around checking out the scene, too. There are studio dogs. Oh, Scout's ready to go do some vocals. We use this room for electric guitar during the tracking sessions. We have an amp box here where we put the amp and mic it in there to keep the noise down. Uh, once we finish tracking and the musicians clear out, this is one of our favorite rooms to do vocals in because we get a wonderful sound in here. And this is one of our favorite features of Ragtop Recording. Our grand piano, it's a Yamaha C7, same kind Elton John plays. Uh, we've been told by several piano players in town that it's among the top three in Nashville and a couple of them think the best in town, so we're very proud of that. Uh, you can see that it's mic'd, it's tuned before every session just to make sure that it's the best sound we can get out of it. We also have our Leslie cabinet for the B3 organ in this room, uh, which we keep in here mic'd. And this isolation booth, as you can see from our little artwork here, is used for acoustic instruments. We use it to record acoustic guitar, banjo, uh, mandolin, fiddle, anything that needs live mics is in this little acoustic booth here. And this brings us back to our control room. I suppose I should tell you a little something about our board, which we're very proud of. This is the Trident ADB series. This board originally belonged to Paul Worley, so all of Martina McBride's early hits and everyone that Paul worked with back in the day was cut on this board. He sold it to Frank Zappa, who moved it out to LA and used it for several years. And we have since brought it back to Nashville and totally refurbished it and combined it with the latest Pro Tools so that we have the warmth of analog and the convenience of digital. And this gorgeous board is ready to record your next hit. Thank you for taking this little tour with me today. I hope that you'll explore my website and see if Kim Copeland Productions is a good fit for your next recording project.